Hi, my name is Audrey from Saltire Software. Today I want to show you how to find the length of a common tangent between two circles using geometry expressions. First thing we're going to do is go to our draw toolbox and select our circle tool. And we'll make two circles. One and two. And next up we will take our line segment tool and we'll connect them down. That'll be our tangent. And we need to make these this line tangent to these circles. So we're going to do that by selecting both the circle and the line. And going over to our constraint toolbox and hitting the tangent button. And there we have our line tangent to the circle. We'll do this again with circle number two. And there's our tangent. I'm going to hide these labels by selecting them and pressing Control H, my keyboard, just so they look a little cleaner. Next thing we'll want to do is define our radius. The best way to do that is to select the circle and then constrain the radius. So for this one, we'll leave it at R. And for this one, let's make it 2. All right, and as you can see, these circles are now constrained, and if you move them around, you can see they'll both move together. Next up, we'll want to um, define the length, the distance between these two circles. If you select point A, hold Control, and select point C, you can constrain their distance. And let's leave this at A. So with all of this constraint, you can now get the tangent length. If you select this line segment, you can go to Calculate, and under the Symbolic tab, you can calculate the distance and length, and it will give that to you. Now this isn't the only tangent we can calculate, there's also the exterior tangent, if we wanted to calculate that as well. We simply also make this line tangent to these circles, same way we did last time, by going to our constraint toolbox and selecting tangent, and one more time, clean it up a little. And then we can calculate this line as well. And there we have it. It will give you a piece of symbolic algebra as a calculation. Now we could relax one of these constraints. For example, you can just call this S. And you can see now that our calculations have changed. And that's how you compute the length of the common tangent between two circles. My name is Audrey. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. If you want more information about geometry expressions, please visit the website at geometryexpressions.com. Thanks for watching.